Amateur video uploaded to a social media website appears to show the shelling of a mosque in the Syrian city of Deir al-Zor. Reuters is unable to independently verify the footage. Syrian forces pressed on with an armored offensive in the city in the east of Syria on Wednesday. Syrian authorities deny any assault took place in the city. They say they faced attacks since protests against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad erupted in March. They're blaming armed saboteurs for civilian deaths and the killing of some 500 soldiers and police. Also on Wednesday, Syrian state television showed footage of what it said were tanks and other military hardware pulling out of the central city of Hama. The apparent withdrawal followed a 10-day assault on what's become a symbolic center of the uprising. The U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Susan Rice, says Assad has lost authority. It would be much, much better uh, for the people of Syria, uh, and Syria would be better off uh, without Assad. And we're looking to the future and, and looking to lend support to the people of Syria who have the same aspirations for freedom and democracy that we've seen in so many other parts of the world. Rights groups say at least 1,700 civilians have died since the uprising began. Assad is under growing pressure to curb the bloodshed. Syria has already been hit by Western sanctions and three regional powers have called for change this week, leaving Iran the government's only staunch ally. Paul Chapman, Reuters.